teachers were allowed to engage. Relationships with students on social media within the school setting. Department of Education. As long as it is related to the school or within a school setting, said the Department of Education of that. Teachers are still allowed to use of social media platforms to communicate, interact with that student. Education speaker Michael Poa, in a press conference on Monday, November 7th, has given some clarification to DIP Order No. 49 of Basic Education Programs and Services. Poa explained that while the issuance prohibits officials, DIP personnel, to avoid those relationships, interactions, and communications, including following students on social media outside of the school setting, unless they are relatives, teachers may still use social media platforms for things related to school. To clarify, the true purpose of Department Order No. 49 is really to promote professionalism, Poa said in a mix of English and Filipino on the sidelines of the press conference. All we want is for there to be a clear delineation between teachers and students, he added. Paul also told the teachers that it is not forbidden to interact with students, as long as within the school setting. We don't want to blur the line and have relationship that is different from the teacher learner, and that's where we have problem. We do not want to blur the line and have a relationship that is different from the teacher learner because this is when we started having those problem. The latest release by the Department of Education has garnered mixed reactions, especially from teachers, because they are using social media platforms to communicate with their students in the implementation of distance learning brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. That's why we say there that when within school setting, we don't have any problem. That's why we said there that if it is within a school setting, we don't have a problem with it, Poa said. Poe further said that within the setting of school does not mean that the interaction has to be physical to inside the school. For example, in permitted schools implement blended or distance learning. Poe said that those can still be used teachers are social media platforms for interact with their students. When something suddenly needs to be given the teacher instructs the learners like a class activity, for example, is not forbidden any more teachers can reach out to learners because he is within the school setting if the teacher suddenly needs to give instruction to students, such as in. Poa added that the new release of DEPT is repeating the existing one civil service rules, especially in professionalism for the public servants such as officers and staff of teaching and non-a-teaching under agency. The only thing we really want to avoid is that our teachers have crossed the Line that should separate teachers and students, explained Poa. Why? Because that's where they should be professional, he added. The recent directive, Poa added, is for all Department of Education employees. This includes the Department of Education personnel. We are all civil servants. The teachers are persons of authority, and it is expected from the teachers, from the DIP personnel to be professional in their dealings with the public. With the students, he explained. It is the DEPED's goal to remind the staff that we must show the professionalism and we must uphold the honor of Department of Education. Thank you for watching. If you are still new to my channel, please press the subscribe and notification bell to be always updated to all my upcoming videos. Thank you. Always at your service. Sir Absalon. Sa iyong miti, ako'y nahuhumaling At sa tuwing ikaw ay lalapit, ang mundo ko'y tumit